the Sarasota Bay Estuary Program was at the forefront of recognizing the economic value of linking and promoting Sarasota Bay's cultural, historical, and environmental heritage. The Gulf Coast Heritage Trail was the culmination of this recognition and was the first regional eco-heritage-based tourism trail program within the state of Florida. Well, the, the Gulf Coast Heritage Trail, by its namesake, at first also talks about heritage. You know, you, again, that sense of place comes into play. Uh, this wasn't always a metropolitan area. Uh, our heritage is agriculture. Our heritage is, uh, is tourism. Our heritage is growing in a community alongside Mother Nature. The Gulf Coast Heritage Trail connects those special places that still remain, that weave together the fabric of our history. Oscar Shear State Park is a scrub preserve, and scrub preserves are biological islands that are separated by different habitat types. And as a result, anytime you're in an island, environment, the sense of rarity or the, the presence of rare species escalates dramatically. Oscar Shear State Park is probably best known for its mascot, the Florida scrub jay. As a matter of fact, there was a recent British publication, a, uh, a birder's journal, that listed Oscar Shear State Park as the single most accessible and reliable place to see Florida scrub jays in the world. So a person from any country or from any state can drive to Oscar Shear State Park and have immediate access to one of the rarest, most endangered species that we have in our country. And with that visitation comes tourism dollars and tax revenues and financial resources that would otherwise not be available to the community. This is the historic village of Cortez and one of the premier commercial fishing areas in the Sarasota Bay area. They do a worldwide business out of this operation here. And it's something that's uh, very important to the culture of our area. And it's uh, an area that is under preservation at the present time. The, the residents of this community here have uh, formed a, a uh, coalition and established a nonprofit organization called the Florida Institute for Saltwater Heritage. And that organization has purchased a large piece of property which is on the other side of this building on the bay. Um, and we are involved at the present time in working with them to develop a design for habitat restoration.